Welcome back to your regularly scheduled programming. Um, I'm your host, Franks, and today I'm going to start a five-part series about healing. In part one, I want to talk about the concept of healing, and I want to breach the conversation and just maybe give some words to someone who is wanting to start the journey but doesn't know where to begin, or is overwhelmed by how long the process seems like it will feel. So again, welcome back. You know, regularly scheduled programming, back to the higher conscious self that I always am and will be, and stick around. You know, we're going to talk about healing this month of April, and we're going to get ready for an amazing year. So thank you so much for tuning in, and stick around. Hello, and welcome to a very special, starting that over. Hi, welcome back to your regular, regularly scheduled programming. I'm your host, Franks, and this is your favorite online queer pop music person uh, expose, <laughs> Franks TV. So today I'm going to, so the way I'm going to structure the next few episodes is I want to do a series on healing because healing is the most important, (sighs) maybe like journey that many queer people, non-queer people, just everybody in general, I think it's one of the most important things that we can, that any of us can really embark on. And so... I wanted to give myself time to discuss all the different aspects of it. Um, So part one today, I want to talk about maybe the importance of healing and a little bit about the concept and I want to discuss maybe just what it will look like. Oh, I feel really like somber and serious. Somber and serious. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump in. You know, I'm, I'm not going to do the what's in my purse for the healing episodes because I really want to focus on what I'm saying. So the healing process is long and it's hard and it's fucked up and it's, it, it's, okay, let me say it to you this way. The trauma that is endured, the the process to unravel that trauma is just as difficult and arduous as the trauma itself. So when it comes to healing, I I think it's important. I don't think it's important. I would advise everyone to just keep that in mind, to know that when you start the process of healing, it's not going to be something that you deal with overnight. It's not going to be something that's okay, one and done, and then a year from now, you're perfectly healed. It's an ongoing process. Just like I said in the coming out video, healing is something that you just continue to discover more and more the ways that you can heal. And there are multiple aspects to it. Um, I think that you can heal from past trauma, which is the major one, like childhood trauma. And you can heal from societal oppression and regulations. You can heal from workplace shit. You can heal from, uh, I think this is the one that I've dealt with the most, which is healing from self-induced trauma. So that includes like, um, substance abuse, um, 
sex addiction, um, you know, not speaking your mind the way that you should and not being proud of the things that you've done or the places that you've been or the things you've said. And I think it's hard, you know, so, so I want to start talking about my journey a little bit in that it's been a 10 year process, you know, um, I'm blessed to have an amazing support system of friends and family, um, and people who have always been willing to put in the work to give me space to understand me. And so I've been really lucky in that I've had the opportunity to start this healing process really when I was 18. You know, going to school for the first, for the first time, being the first generation in this country and being one of the first people in my family to get out and go to like university was one of the biggest uh, blessings I could have ever had because I had the opportunity to really focus on myself and focus on why I was feeling the way I was feeling and why I was acting the way I was acting and I was able to really start the journey back then and I honestly feel that now t- 10 years later you know at age 28 um, I feel like I've gotten a grasp on the first big major cycle of my healing process um and it was long and it was hard and people got hurt and i continued to hurt myself and it wasn't easy you know healing is not easy healing was difficult very difficult it involved me acknowledging truths it involved me accepting realities it involved me forgiving myself you know, and and apologizing to myself more than anything, um, because I think that that's really where it begins. So, in in the big concept of healing, essentially, what it's what what's happening is that you're dismantling the 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 like web and the the the, the delusions. You know, you're you're revealing the illusions that you've created for yourself. And that's really what it is, is that you've created for yourself. It's about accepting responsibility. You know, step one in this major healing process is really about accepting responsibility. It's about acknowledging the ways that you are who you are and acknowledging the ways that systems and societies have set you up to be and accept certain things. But ultimately, because we're all human and we all have the capacity to make choices and believe in what we want to believe in, you know, we're the ones who are hurting ourselves. I can't place blame on someone else for the fact that I wasn't loving myself properly. Do you know whose fault that was? That was mine. And that's very plain. So healing, I think there's a lot of different avenues that one can take to healing. Um, to get back to the higher concept of healing. And it's different for everybody, literally. You could be twins and have the exact same situations, same everything, same body, same face, same, 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 same everything as somebody else. And your healing process is still going to be very unique to you. Because something that I think Brink comes in here is the concept of the truth. And there is an ultimate truth that we all abide by but everyone's and i think i even said no I'm, i said this in a video that i'm not going to post because i wanted to start over this whole little series but um the truth is is different for everybody and so it's funny because we want to believe that the truth is black and white but really the truth is gray because the universe is gray and there's no such thing as like dichotomy or like by whatever, like double-sided situations. It's not a thing. Cause, cause even when I do what's right for me, it, does, it isn't like, it's impossible to do something that's inherently good because somebody will always 
suffer because of the nature of the structures of this reality. So it's it's not right to measure yourself. It, it's basically, I'm talking about expectations. When I talk about the truth, I'm talking about expectations. It's that your expectations have to be shifted. You have to shift your expectations to understand that you do have to be kind of selfish and you do have to be self-centered, but it can't come with the delivery of ego and um, self-induced delusions. It's like a complex but simple thing to understand in that my truth is my truth, but someone else's truth is their truth as well. And there are overlaps and there are moments where you can communicate things back and forth, but ultimately your life is yours. And healing is about understanding the responsibility and the like the nature and the simple facts that are yours. So the concept of healing is tough. You know, I think everyone has to heal to a certain degree. And getting back to, I'm all over the place, getting back to the, to the processes, it's different for everybody. You know, some people find healing through religion. Some people find healing through, you know, um, creative outlets and expression. Some people find healing through conversations. Some people find healing through knowledge gathering and academia. It's different for everybody. And no one journey is more or less influential or powerful than any other journey. And no body and no system is more or less important. So when I breach healing, I want to say that it's going to be a process. It's going to be long. It's going to be hard. Days are going to come where you just want to cry and you just want to give up and you just want to let it all go. And that's normal. You know, we, we're living in a society that wants us to believe that the internet is real and that I'm like me, for example. Um, there is like this belief system that maybe I'm like, I have it all together. And, you know, because I'm able to uh, achieve certain things and make certain types of art that I'm supposed to be perfect. Um, and in my own way, in my own viewpoint, I am. But it's not that I'm perfect. It's that I'm just the perfect version of myself. It's that I've learned and healed from a lot of shit that has put me in a position to be able to be me more intensely, daily, 365, 24-7. Um, and that's been a process. It takes a long ass time to get there. It's like, I felt so lonely, so alone and isolated. And I've compared myself to other people and I've said things that I regret, but ultimately I haven't made any mistakes because it's only a mistake if you don't learn something. And so that's really what the process is like. You know, it's fucking hideous and it's ugly. That's, that's what that song um, that I recently wrote, I Accept, that's really what that song is about. It's about accepting everything and knowing that you're predisposed and destined to be on time for your own life. So things will happen and the universe is going to conspire to get you to a certain point. And the way to allow the universe to work in your life in the way that you want it to or need it to or whatever is by breaching the conversation about healing. It's by allowing yourself to go on this like seven, mi seven million miles long road and committing to making it to the end. Because even when you get to the end, there's more road and there's more obstacles and there's always going to be more and more and more stuff. But the whole point is to process what life has been giving you and is going to keep on giving you as it comes. 
and not repressing any of the information, not repressing any of your feelings, acknowledging that things happen so that other things can happen. And so that's really what healing is like. That's the concept of healing, is that it's, it's, it seems huge, but you have to just start small. You know, um, you can't stay stuck in your trauma, you know, trauma bonding and excessive boundaries and close closing of your heart and closing of your walls and closing of your spirit. That's not why we're here. That's not why humans are born into this planet. That's not why we have consciousness. That's not why I, I fail to, to, I fail. I refute that aspect of humanity. I don't believe that we're supposed to be here just to suck dick and make money. I don't. I think that there's a, such a higher purpose to everything. And the only way to access that higher purpose is by allowing yourself the space time, room, grace, and forgiveness to start the journey. I'm going to keep that really short. That's what I wanted to say about part one for healing. Healing is a process. And healing is going to take a long ass time. And if you want to commit to making and harnessing your reality and believing in it and creating a world where you exist for real, then healing is the perfect place to start. So that's part one. Part one was just about delivering the concept, breaking the conversation open. Part two, I'm gonna talk about, I want to structure it this way. In part two, I want to talk a little bit more about the details of what my healing process has been like and sharing that and maybe offering people a glimpse into what it looks like to be Franks and what the process has been like and like what I've learned. Part three, I want to talk about society and structures and the dismantling of those things, especially when it comes to interpersonal healing. Part four, I want to talk about relationships and how they all plug in. And in part five, I want to talk about my vision for the future and how healing is really the key to getting us all to that future. So this is the month of April, you know, it's spring, summer's around the corner. It's been a tough year for all of us. And if I can do anything, I want to be here to help guide us all through the ascension into the future. So thanks for watching. (laughs) Welcome to my, welcome back to Serious Mode Franks. And stick around, you know, this is part one. Part two will be up next week. And I appreciate everyone just taking a second to hear what I have to say. Thank you. Bye.